Chapter 5, Calibrating a Gill Air Plus Pump. We're now going to demonstrate a Gill Air Plus being calibrated. We begin by setting our sample train up where we'll be using a standard three-piece filter cassette, typically used for collecting particulates. You will note that I have a filter with an adapter on each side of the pump in between the pump and the calibrator. I will next turn on my Gill Air Plus pump and hit the enter button in the top right corner. The main menu will appear on the pump screen. I'll arrow down one time to the flow set option. Once here, I'll hit the enter and then I can actually adjust it up and down to my desired flow rate. For this demonstration, I will set it at 2000 cc's or two liters per minute. And then I must press enter again to make sure that that's locked in. I will then arrow down once more to the calibrate option and press the enter button once again. The pump will now begin to run in the calibrate mode. You will now notice that live readings appear on the Gillibrator 3 home screen. You will also notice that the backlight on the flow cell window is now on. You can see the puck oscillating in the calibration cylinder. For this calibration, I'd like to take a sample set of 10 samples. I can configure this by entering into the settings screen and selecting 10 from the menu options. I also want to make sure that my readings are precise, so I will set my statistical threshold to 2.5%. That will alert me if my percent deviation is outside of my 2.5% threshold. Additionally, I want to configure some of the units of measurement, so I will open my display screen. From here, I'm going to change my degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm also going to change my hectopascals to inches of water. I can then touch my home screen button to return to the home screen. I want to check that my temperature units and measurement units of pressure have changed to my preferences. I also want to check in the lower right corner to see that my sample count has been set to 10. The next step is to begin the airflow on your Gill Air Plus in calibration mode. Once you begin seeing the live reading stabilize on your home screen, you will want to hit the play button to collect your 10 sample count. You can notice that the sample count is counting up in that lower right hand corner. It will continue to advance until it reaches 10. Now you will see your flow average displayed in this upper right hand area. Below it, you will notice that the two sigma is in green print and is 0.96%. It is within our 2.5% threshold deviation. I will repeat a sample set of 10 to see if the flow rate has been adjusted to within 1% of my desired set flow. Again, you see the sample counter counting up towards 10, and you'll see my flow average change as my number of samples are entered into that average. My new sample average is now 2.007, which is well within 1% of my desired set rate. You can now see the desired flow is within 1%, so I will confirm this on the Gill Air Plus pump by hitting the enter button two times. We've now locked in the calibration, so I will arrow up two times on the menu to the run option, and then I'll hit enter again to run the pump. I will once again repeat the 10 sample set average by pressing the play button. Now that I have verified the pump flow rate to be accurate, I want to record my calibration data.
The Save Record button will become highlighted in dark blue on the horizontal menu bar across the middle of the screen when the number of individual samples has reached the designated sample count. Touch the button with the disc on it to begin input of the record detail. The recently used pump screen will appear. The screen will populate with recently used pump information. If unpopulated or the flow source name is not present, touch the button labeled Skip to continue to the input record detail. If populated and your flow source name is named, touch it and the input detail will become pre-populated with that pump's model and serial number. Once on the record input screen, complete the record detail information. The record detail contains four fields, the pump model, the pump serial number, the sample identification, as well as the operator ID. Touch the field adjacent to the label pump model to continue to input the record detail. A keyboard will appear. Enter in the pump or flow source model. Ours is the Gill Air Plus. Hit the arrow key over to advance to the pump serial number. Then enter in the pump serial number. Our Gill Air Plus serial number is 1, 2, 3, 4 for this demonstration. Hit the next arrow and the sample ID will appear. We will call this sample test one. Hit the next arrow and the operator ID will appear. I put in my name, Aaron, and hit done when complete. The record input screen will reappear with your entered information. Review the record detail information. If correct, touch the save window. Note, if automatic save to SD card mode is turned on, the file will save to the SD card. If the file name already exists, a window would appear asking if the sample set should be saved as a post-cal report. Let us now check our calibration report. From the home screen, select the report icon on the menu bar. You should notice the last entry would be the one at the top. We'll select test one and it'll be shaded or highlighted in dark blue. We'll now hit the preview button. It will take a few seconds to compile the bitmap report. Once the report opens, you can press the up or down arrows to scroll through and read the values in the report. Press the exit button to return to the recent report screen. You may press the export button to save the event to the SD card if you had not selected the automatic save mode. Please note that the files will be placed in an individual folder with the sample ID name. First, you must open the reports folder from your SD card. Next, select the file name for which you saved on your Gillibrator 3. In that file, you will find two files with the same file name and different extensions, a BMP file and a .csv file. The CSV files can be opened up in a table format for use with statistical analysis or to place the sample results into other tables for review. We have now completed the calibration for this pump and it is ready to begin sampling. We will repeat this verification check during post-calibration at the end of the sampling event. We will give the sample the same name as the pre-calibration file and it will link the two together.